Mary Stottle's mother had died when Mary was very, very young. And her father, Harry, he didn't remarry until years after when his broken heart had finally healed. And her new mother, Clary Stottle, she was a wonderful mother, a very kind, very caring mother to Mary. And one day, Mary was walking home from school, taking a shortcut through a field, when a stranger came up to her. A woman, a very, a very beautiful woman, a very, a very kind woman. And she pointed out that Mary's pinafore had come undone and helped her to tie it back up. And when Mary got home, she told her stepmother, Clary, about what had happened about this woman she'd met on the road. And as she described her, her stepmother's face went pale. Because the description Mary was giving matched that of her first mother, whom Clary had seen die of illness in her own bed. But Clary didn't say a word about this to Mary, nor did she say anything to her husband or, or anyone else. She wasn't sure what to make of it all. Until one day, her husband Harry was outside with a friend of his just working in the field and they heard a cry and not a cry of alarm but like someone was being called in for their dinner and Harry he turned pale for a moment and he turned to the man he was working with and he said that's the that, that's how that's how my first wife would call me in for my dinner. That was the same voice, the same call. What's going on? So Harry and his friend, they went off in the direction the voice had come from. And there she was, standing there, his first wife. She said that it wasn't her who had died in that bed all those years ago it was something left by the fairy because they had taken her away to be a nursemaid for one of their own children and she had only just escaped a few days ago Harry wasn't sure what to do he still loved his first wife very much but he loved his new wife just as much. So he did the only kind thing that he could do. He bought her a home not too far away in a beautiful area. And she lived there for the rest of her life. She did some knitting on the side to help her make some money. And she was always thought of as one of the, the kindest, most respected women in the community despite her long stay with the fairy. 